In the space of about 24 hours to 48 hours, Kenny Pickett has turned into public enemy number one. But is it true? All this stuff about Kenny Pickett, and we're going to talk about Mark Madden in a minute, right? This stuff here, Mark Madden just got told that Pickett is 100% refusing or refused to be the backup, that the Steelers riders know that but won't write it. Did, did I read that correctly? That the Steelers writers know that, but won't write it. Man, I thought my grammar and pronunciation in English was bad. But Mark Madden, you're crazy. Absolutely crazy. So anyways, guys, that's a story going around Steel Nation right now. When I say that, I mean like everywhere. Like everywhere I turn to look up highlights or videos or, you know, anything like that. Um. It's a rumor. To me, it's a rumor. I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Mark Madden is not the the, the best source or um, the most, you know, what's the word? You know, colorful, colorful analyst in the in the building. Like he likes to portray that angry, that angry old man who yells at clouds. Uh, Pittsburgh sucks. And yes, he got his true takes. Like he got some good takes and honest takes. But he's very angry and very negative in the media, and he wants to stir the pot. That's what Mark Madden wants to do. He wants to grab something like this, grab a Kenny Pickett story, and stir the pot. Um, I saw people talk about it. My good mate, um, Daniel J from State of the Steelers, he did a very good video covering this kind of stuff and talking about maybe it's a controversy. If it's true, first of all, it doesn't matter that much. If it's not true, the fan base, I think, we just tend to overreact to everything, no matter what. Uh, we overreact to these situations. And Kenny Pickett, in a space of 48 hours, has now turned into public enemy number one. And I mean, look, Rudolph is awesome. I, I'm okay with Rudolph being the quarterback. If Rudolph is a quarterback for the next three years, I'm fine with that. You play the better guy. You always do. Rudolph right now is playing better football. Kenny Pickett has been struggling as of recent. So you go with Rudolph, they start scoring points, they're scoring 30 per game. I like that. I'm good with that. What I'm not good with is, though, is when stories like this do happen and rumors come out and next minute half the fan base just turns on and goes overly crazy for this stuff. Mark Madden, is he's, he's meaning to do this. And we don't know if the source is true. Uh, I'm sure Kenny Pickett will get a million questions over the next few days um, in a press conference coming up. I think they do a, a player's press conference like on Wednesday, something similar. So Mark Madden, he's known to do this. He does this to get clicks, to get all that kind of stuff, to get your attention. And I actually, I had him blocked on my Facebook, but then I saw this come through Twitter and I was like, I have to talk about it because the fan base is now saying, ungodly things about Kenny Pickett and they want him out. And they're not just talking about his quarterback play. They're talking about, you know, him as a, as a person, as a leader, all those kind of things. And it's like, you don't even know if the story is true. And that's, that's the point what kind of gets me because one tweet on the internet, which is Mark Madden's tweet and talking about refusing to be a backup. And in our, in our own minds, we grab the information and we make something out of nothing. So can we just wait until we get all the facts together? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I've, I've seen a few a few videos. I've seen a few tweets, articles. And pretty much it's all going off this one source being Madden and his source sources in the building. And he's saying, well, the Pittsburgh Steelers are riders. They won't write about this. They haven't got the guts. But there's no true full story. Where, where's the real full story? And we're going to turn on a player because of this stuff? You know what I mean? I don't know. I just find it a bit funny. I just find it a bit crazy. I really do. With this Pittsburgh Steelers stuff, we are on a good high, have a chance for the playoffs. Um, and then we've got, we've got to make it about someone else and not about the team going forward and also the team having a chance to go to the playoffs. It's always about something else. That's what it feels like.
Um, another take too with one, with one of our good mates here, Yuli, one one of the uh, the modders here and, and uh, good viewers. Um, I was talking to him uh, about this situation, and I asked I asked Yuli, and I'll, I'll give you his response. I asked Yuli about what did he think about this situation with the media and all this kind of stuff, and why do the fans overreact? And he here's what here was uh, Yuli's response. Right, Yuli said, "I think it's because the football media is pretty much." It's trustworthy, more so than what people think. Every year, though, it's so easy for any account to tweet, insert player, going to insert team. Thousands try each year to fake that. They do. That, for the most part, you click on their profile. If it's a random account, it's not true. That's that's right. If they're actually in some sort of media, it's usually 95% chance it's probably true. So some people get fooled once or twice a year. Now, Here's what I think is is the main point of what Yuli's saying. What makes people distrust football media isn't reporting a story. It's in how they tell the story over dramatize and will take things out of context to make it a good story, right? So where's the context? It's not the actual story itself. Let's say that Kenny Pickett did, did say, I don't want to be back up, okay? But where's the context? There is zero context. I haven't heard Mike Tomlin talk about this. He made the choice and said that Kenny Pickett didn't start. He was going with Rudolph. And they made Kenny Pickett inactive versus Seattle. So where's the context? We are missing so many things involving this stuff. And that's what the media does. The media grabs something, takes it out of context. It gets you, me, the viewer, thinking, thinking, thinking. We make uh, a quick judgment, an instant reaction, and say, we don't like that player. But what? why? Why? Why don't you like that player? Why are you not a fan now of KPA, Kenny Pickett, the guy who was crush, crushing beers on stage because of one tweet? Refusing, refusing to be back up? That's my point. Everything to me is kind of out of context. We don't know the full answer. Mark Madden gives us that tweet. We grab that. The next minute we say, I don't like Kenny Pickett. He's not a he's not a stealer. He needs to go. He's done with me. I'm done with Kenny Pickett. That's the thing I kind of find a bit laughable. Let's wait until all the details come out. And if the report is true, then fantastic. We talk about it. But we're just we're going off one tweet. One little tweet. Refusing to be back up from Mark Madden. It's Mark Madden. Anyways, guys, just my just just my two cents on that. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I think it's been over dramatized again, and I feel like Kenny Pickett will address it, and everything will be fine.